Hi, I'm Ash. Here's how I make hyperpop kind of like Midwest. This is like a part of the train of a meringue. This is like the first time on my body chain. This is like when I was saying in the front of the train. Oh, oh, this life is crazy. First, set the BPM to 93. Set aside a 16 bar loop and start with the lead melody. To make this, pick a major key. I picked A flat major, and in the piano roll, you can turn on Ableton's scale, so I don't have to think about theory. Set the grid to 132, hit scale, and just start picking notes. A good way to start is to alternate between one note and the root key, like this. And as long as it's ascending or descending, it tends to work. I made this sound in Serum by combining a detuned triangle wave. You can find this in basic shapes, turning the wavetable position, and I layered it with a sine wave to add some extra pluck. With the processing, it sounds like this. But if you're looking at this, having trouble coming up with a melody, try and catch a vibe by adding a Juno bass line. Changing this around lets you find an emotional vibe without having to worry about full chords. Because remember, you can always add chords after. But no, that's too happy. Darker! For the sound I mentioned Juno, which is a synth hella people used in the 80s. And you could use a Juno emulator. And I was about to use this free plugin for everything, but then I remembered Serum actually has a Juno wavetable. And I wanted to use Serum's filters instead. If you're still having trouble making a bass or a melody, find a guitar sample off Splice and just write around it. But I don't need to do that, because I'm a good producer, right? <laughs> On a sampler, make some fast hi-hats. This way you can make it all pitchy with the MIDI. See how it goes up and down? Reverse hi-hats. And all together, that sounds like... For the verse, copy and paste. Harmonize the lead with the fifth. Like I mentioned earlier, you can write chords from the bass line. You can make any bass line a chord if you have scale on, and then just copy and pasting notes that have one note in between them. So you just alternate them. This will sound better in octave up. Adjust the voicing a little. And add a bottom octave note. And match the rhythm with the melody. Add a kick. And a light snare in between each beat. You can double time the metronome if you're having trouble finding where the snare goes. One and two and three and four and. So every time you hear the and, put a snare on. Or I don't know, just look at the lines. Alternate with an open hi-hat. After 16 beats, bring the fast hats back in. Altogether, this sounds like wait. And if you've been watching this and are like, oh, that's a cool glitch. How do you make that? You can make these by creating a new audio track, enabling resampling, having a little riff like recording. I like setting it to 132 grid again and finding some kind of repeating part with a nice transient and chopping it up like this. Right clicking, consolidating, and playing with the fade. 
and that'll lead into the verse. Make sure to mute everything once you've resampled it. For the whole verse, I gave it about 32 beats, but this depends on how much verse you want to give the artist if you are making this beat for someone else or if you're making it for yourself. But the idea is to be flexible with the length of this. So have it loop really easily. And if you need cool transitions to keep it from repeating, five easy, cool, special, radical, awesome, dope transitions for not repeating your core, your verses. You can use the glitch trick that I just showed you. Or chop up some almond breaks. Reverse the main melody for a cool switch up. You could even do this for the second verse. You know what? Screw it. Layer in some super saws. Ooh. Don't forget the Glock. And all together, that sounds like this. It's distro kid time. Yeah, I, I know. Independent releasing, 100% of the royalties go to you, friend of the channel, gotta love them. Oh, I see you're making some hyper pop. Don't be a potato producer like me and forget to upload your lyrics as well. Cause in addition to your distro kid membership, you can add synced lyrics to your releases. So if you've got an awesome track where the words are very important, you wanna post a lyric thing on Instagram, check, check this out. You can get them to pop up on your stories when you share them. And this is all free with your distro kid membership. Just click this, play your song, and time the spacebar to your lyric lines, and bam, it's available on Instagram. It'll work on TikTok too, I mean, like whatever, all of it. DistroKid also sends your lyrics to all the streaming services so people can look them up, read along, and feel your pain as well. So sign up now with the VIP link, it's in the description. Thanks DistroKid for sponsoring the video. On a drum rack with a chunky kick and hyper pop snare, Write a halftime pattern that looks like this and sounds like this. Copy and paste the bass line onto a big, wide, distorted 808. Chop it up so that it hits every time the kick does. I made this in Serum. It's just the sub oscillator on the clipped sine wave with these effects. Feel free to pause champ. But the more important stuff comes from all of this processing down here. Copy and paste again, but this time, the intro melody. Put it onto a formant vocal lead sound. But, as you can see, I only play it after the 808. This gives a ton of space for vocals when you eventually add them, while doing a cool call and response type thing in the drop. This is made in Vital by FMing a harmonic series wavetable to a sine wave, and mapping that all to envelope number two. Don't know what any of that means? Go watch my sound design video for beginners after this. Very important. Don't forget to sidechain everything to your drums. This makes it punch. Sneak in a counter melody, but very way in the back. Copy the bass line onto a sub. And at the end of a bar, put game sounds in from 2008. Or you can do some glitches. Or ARPs. Just do your best to find little spaces in the drop and put glitches in them. And kind of just feel it out. I don't know. All together, this sounds like... No, tell me the exact places where to put glitches for maximum effect, Ash. Okay, 
I don't know the exact answer for that. I just personally kind of feel it out. Just remember, friends, you're making music, right? You're not a mathematician or architect putting together a skyscraper or a rocket ship. At this writing stage, you can let go of that technicality and have as much fun as you can with it. Basically, what I'm saying is don't overcomplicate because the goal of your beat is to inspire not to show off all of your skill you almost have to make it sound a little empty because you want the artist to feel like they're the missing piece of the song because in reality the more opportunity you give the artist to work off of your beat the more successful you're gonna be as a producer especially if you're coming from edm or rock music where instrumentals tend to carry the songs a little bit more the second you step into beat making you almost got to forget this. And a good way to test if your beat is busy enough is to find an acapella from places like Reddit or just make it yourself with tools like Lalal AI. So you can get the vocals from the hottest new house album by Drake? Wait, who produced this? It just, yeah, very, very way much stronger. Oh, I think Posty just put out an album, right? This is like a private plane upon my rank. And if you've made it this far, you're a legend. If there's any artists you want me to break down, comment them below. But as you know, making these videos from research, writing, and producing the songs, not to mention the amount of editing, will take me 20 to 30 hours. So if you support what I'm doing, even just liking the video and subscribing to my channel helps my content reach more people and lets me keep doing this. If you have the means to support me even further, check out my Patreon. Even the $2 tier helps me way more than you realize. Plus, you'll find project files for every song you've heard on this channel including this one, along with presets for Serum, Vital, Ableton Racks, and more in-depth breakdowns. But enough of that. From the beginning, with the vocals, all together, it sounds like... Now you hate that I'm gone, but you're doing the most. I don't need somebody.